Hi guys, it's me, Jess Marie. Welcome, welcome back to one of my videos. This is going to be a week in my life. Hopefully I actually do a week in my life. Last week I said I was gonna do a week in my life and ended up just doing a couple days. So determined to actually do a week in my life this week. It is Monday, it is now five o'clock. I just got home from the gym. It was a push day, had a really good workout. Now I think I'm gonna go paddle boarding. I got a new paddle board recently and I'm obsessed with it. If I go today, it'll be three days in a row. I've been on the lake and on my paddleboard and I'm just so excited about it so I think I'm gonna go do that and then when I get home I think I'll do all the things I had planned on doing during the day today such as laundry clean the sheets I may actually save that for tomorrow but if you aren't already be sure you subscribe down below and I hope you guys enjoy this week in my life this is the paddleboard situation now like I said I've taken my paddleboard out the last two days and it was still kind of wet from the lake so I had it drying out but now I'm pretty sure she's all dry so just have to roll her back up and stick her back in that bag and put my life jacket in there and get all my things together. I am going by myself, which does make me a little nervous, but I am going to be wearing my life jacket and I'll have my phone on me and I have my whistle and all the things I need and the park closes at eight. So it's not even like I'll be there when it gets dark. I really wanted to go and paddleboard during sunset and the sun sets at 819. So I feel like I'll be able to catch a little bit of a pretty sky. So yeah, just feeling really excited. Nervous to be going by myself, but I'm just hoping getting in the water is easy. Last weekend when my sister and I took her kayaks out, getting in the water was a whole experience. She ended up tipping and falling in the water and a bunch of people were around and it was just a whole thing. So hopefully, especially me being by myself, hopefully I don't make a whole show of getting in the water and it's just very easy. And here she is, comes in a big old backpack, which makes it easy to carry, but it is really heavy. So now I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna put on my bathing suit and probably get ready to go just because why not go right now? Just got to the little public lake access. Now I just have to pump her up. I am gonna order a pump that you plug into your like cigarette lighter in your car just to make it go quicker because it's not hard, it just takes a really long time to pump it up. So if I can make it easier, mine as well. And there she is. I have this for my phone. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen and then put on my life jacket. Phone, keys, life jacket, whistle, ready to go. It's pretty windy, which is making the water choppy and a little scary, but we did it. We got in the water, no problem. I'm trying to like turn with one hand. Looks like it's raining over there. It said it's only supposed to be cloudy, but I'm hoping the rain stays over there and doesn't make its way this way. Very proud of myself for coming here by myself. Okay, I feel like the wind is really starting to pick up. I feel like you can see the waves. So I'm gonna call it a day. I went around that corner pretty far and then came back. So I'm happy with it. I'll show you how easy it is to deflate this. just twist that and then I'll roll it up and I also use the pump to get like all the extra air out. Definitely a long process but worth it in my opinion.
ended up making scrambled eggs, but this looks delicious. And I'll give the bunny some apple. I always want to film right here, but it's hard this window behind me. It is Tuesday. I woke up in a really good mood because I'm still on a high from yesterday. Yesterday was just such a good day. Even after I was done paddleboarding, I just sat in the truck and just looked out at the lake and it was just so peaceful and I wish I had brought my Kindle and I would have just sat in the truck and read my book. But yeah, I'm just feeling really grateful. I've been putting off some house chores for kind of a while. Not a ton of stuff, really just picking up mainly my room and the kitchen table because if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know my kitchen table collects so much stuff. So I just need to find homes for everything and straighten up our room, do some laundry, clean our sheets, things like that. So I'm gonna make a little to-do list as I do and we are going to get it done today. And here is the to-do list, just the basic house chores, laundry sheets, bedroom, table, kitchen, vacuum, and patty. That's my paddleboard's name. I just have to roll it up because I used it yesterday and it's drying. I'm also thinking about giving you guys a bath. Do you wanna take a bath? Oh. <laughs> Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Today has been such a good productive day. Now I'm making chicken alfredo. Justin's in the shower playing music and it's just really good vibes. I just got home from the gym, had a really good pull day. I ended up staying and doing over 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill and finishing up my book. And yeah, just in a really good mood now. I'll show y'all what everything looks like when I'm done, but I'm doing seashell noodles today. Usually I do bow tie or something else, but I'm feeling seashells for some reason, so. And here it is, easy, breezy, beautiful chicken alfredo. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground It's Wednesday. I started the morning just catching up on things that I needed to finish yesterday, like emptying the dishwasher, laundry, y'all saw that. But now it is my lunch break, so I'm gonna go spend it in the sun. Obviously, I've been in the sun from paddleboarding and being on the lake, but I haven't soaked in the sun like I used to. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'm really excited. The UV is eight, so it's not super high, but high enough for me to enjoy the sun. So yeah, this little cover-up, I thrifted a few years ago, actually, and I've only worn it a couple times, but I do really like it. It's just like, an oversized shirt so yeah hope you all are having a good day hope you're enjoying this vlog subscribe if you're not already this is my favorite sunbathing combo sunscreen on the face oil on the body normally when i lay in the sun i'll listen to a podcast but i've already listened to all the podcasts i would want to today so i'll probably just listen to some music and just enjoy being outside Only laid outside for 10 to 15 minutes, but definitely got some color. The UV jumped up to 10, which was perfect for me. And while I was laying outside, I was inspired to paint my nails. Ever since my car broke, I stopped going to the nail salon just because it would have been hard to find an Uber, find a ride just to get my nails done. So I figured why not try and do them myself. So I ordered this little gel manicure kit from Amazon and I haven't shown it in a vlog yet. So I figured I might as well show y'all. It came with this lamp, of course, but it also came
came with a whole bag of goodies and a ton of colors. It also came with a matte top coat and a regular top coat, which I think is cool. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling a pink or an orange, but I'm gonna paint my toes also, and I don't like light colors on my toes. Like, I'm just like, weird about that, so I don't really know what color I'm gonna go with, but I will update y'all when I figure it out. Sort of inspired by this little cover-up, I decided to go with this orange color, and I washed my hands, and now I'm going to prep my nails with these things, and paint my fingers. Also, I know this scab is disgusting. I got it from tubing this weekend, literally holding on so tight, but I never fell off. So actually I fell off once, but it was cause literally Justin pulled me off, but. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. And here's the final product. I'm not upset with it, but I did find this pink color that I wish I would have used instead. Luckily, this only lasts me a little over a week and then I can change it up. So now it's time for me to go to the gym. So I'll show you a little outfit of the day. It's a leg day. Not really looking forward to it, but I am taking pre-workout for the first time in a while. Only gonna take half a scoop because there is a lot of caffeine in the pre-workout I use, but I'm excited to hopefully have a good leg day. And I did in fact have a really good leg day. The pre-workout definitely helped. If you didn't know, I have a fitness TikTok where I do story times, get ready with me's, and today I decided to vlog my leg day. So if you're interested in more fitness content, follow that. Now I'm just waiting on my sister to get here and we're gonna go have dinner with our dad. Usually we have family dinner every Thursday, but my sister has something going on on Thursday, so we're doing it tonight instead. And I am super excited because the place we're going has literally the best Greek salad I've ever had. So, salad. Like like a Wednesday all day long, but it is definitely Thursday, which I'm grateful for. Finally caught myself up on laundry, doing the last little bit now, and I just feel so relieved that all the laundry is about done. And besides that, I've just been working all day. Now it's time for me to go to the gym. It's a push day, which is shoulders, chest, and triceps. And I'm kind of in a weird mood, not gonna lie. Just having a weird body image day, I think, but I'm still wearing a crop top. Make it make sense, but here's my outfit. Back way up here so you can see, but back from the gym. I just showered. I'm actually really weird about showering and going places, so I feel really weird about doing this, but I had to shower. I was so sweaty. I stayed into 30 minutes of cardio again. Had a really good workout, and yeah, we're just going grocery shopping for a few random things and for dinner, and they say don't grocery shop when you're hungry, and I'm in fact really hungry, so let's see what all I get. Back from the store, we got these little beef tips to make for dinner, so that's what we're doing with some rice. And here we have it, easy, breezy, beautiful beef tips. The rainy morning, Miley loves sitting there and watching the rain. Jack could care less, he just follows me everywhere. You just follow me everywhere. It's 10.30 and I'm finally going to make my daily cup of coffee and I figured I would show y'all. It's nothing fancy, but I love seeing how people make their coffees, especially at home. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. I've been loving chocolate syrup in my coffee. Just a little, just do a little along the outside. Maybe not a little, but I'll go like twice around. And I'll start jerking down the side. This is the coffee I use. If you make coffee at home, and you have a certain coffee you like, please let me know what you use. I'm open to suggestions always. I'll just do two scoops in there. Once that's all in there, do that, that, and over ice because we're making a nice coffee. And once it's done, this is what she looks like. And I'll just add a bit of almond milk. And for extra sweetness, I'll add in this creamer. I like any creamer, but I need to get like a syrup or something that I can use instead of a creamer, but that was a lot, but. And voila. It would definitely be better if I had creamer that actually went along with chocolate syrup, but this is all I had, so. 
Now for the rest of the day besides work, obviously I just have some house chores I need to get done. Things I'm pretty sure I've already shown in this vlog, but gonna have to do them again today because they're chores that you do multiple times a week. So yeah, there's a whole mess behind me of dishes in the sink, stuff on the table, things I need to put away, need to empty the dishwasher, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a good Friday, even though I have some house chores to do. I'm excited to be productive and excited today is Friday. Lunchtime now, so I'm gonna eat this meal prep and then get started on my little chores. outfit on Jack and Milo on the couch now it's time for my favorite part of the day gym time today's a pull day which is back and biceps and I've really been loving training my back so I'm pretty excited for today's workout going to be taking pre-workout again just because Friday the energy is just not the same so I'm gonna try to do a TikTok vlog so go check out my TikTok vlog if I do it but yeah I'll show you all my outfit here back up again so y'all can see I've never worn a crop tank top with these shorts so I'm a little insecure about it but at the same time I don't really care so yeah I just feel good and I'm excited to go work out back from the gym I am so tired drinking a protein shake 42 grams of protein. This is like a cheat code if you track your macros. I had a really, really good workout. I even filmed my workouts today. I try to do that every once in a while just to see my progress. I was really happy when I saw what my back currently looks like. Obviously, I can't see it just flexing in the mirror, but actually watching myself work out, I was like, dang, okay, I see the work you've been putting in. And it's really nice because I have a video from a year ago of me doing the lat pull down, so it's nice to be able to see progress like that. I wish I took more videos when I first started and I need to get in the habit of taking more videos now because it's really nice to have those to look back on and yeah i was at the gym for almost two hours that's an insane amount of time but i was just feeling it i was having so much fun obviously filming takes some time and then i stayed and did a little over 30 minutes of cardio because i wanted to finish the chapter of my book currently reading people we meet on vacation and i'm not loving it i'm only like 30 percent into it so hopefully it gets better i think i'm just gonna shower now and relax for the rest of the night justin's at basketball now so i'll probably just make some alfredo for dinner and yeah 